in this presentation, we'll continue our discussion about classification of attributes as part of entity modeling. In the previous topic, we discussed about the classification of attributes in simple and composite attributes based on the structure of the values for the attributes. In this topic, we look at how many values of the same type the attribute may have for a given entity instance, and we'll classify them in single value or single valued for a single value and multi-value or multi-valued for an attribute who has a list of several values of the same type. Let us consider the following example that models brief information about a book as it appears on the cover. The name of the entity is book and the image shows an entity instance an example of a book. The attributes shown on the cover include the title of the book, some books have a subtitle, and the authors. We'll discuss about each of these attributes. A book has a single title. For instance, the book provided as example has a title Knowledge Engineering building cognitive assistance for evidence-based reasoning. Because the attribute title has always a single value, it is named single value or single valued attribute, SVA. A book has one or more authors. So the attribute author may have a single value, but may also have two or more values. In our case, the book has four authors, Tekuch, Marku, Boyko, and Sham. Because the attribute may have multiple values, is named multi-value or multi-valued attribute, MVA. In the following, we'll discuss in more details about each of these types of attributes. Let us define more formally what is a single value attribute. A single value or a single valued attribute is an attribute that has always a single value for any entity instance. If the value is a text, it does not contain a list of simpler values of the same type. The most important characteristic of a single value attribute is that it has a single value for all entity instances. Often, it has as domain an elementary data type. If the value is a text, like a description, it does not have a structure with a list of simpler values of the same type. Let us consider a few more examples of single valued attributes or SVAs. The cost of a car, for instance, 32,497, is a single valued attribute for the entity car because it is always a single value as a whole number. The title of a course, for instance, databases or programming, is a single value attribute for the entity course because a given course will always have a single title. The name of a city, for instance, Fairfax or Vienna, is a single valued attribute for the entity city because a given city has a single official name. The height of a mountain, for instance, 4,000, 397 feet or 4,383 feet is a single valued attribute for the entity mountain because a mountain has a single highest peak. The color of a paint, for instance, blue or red, is a single valued attribute for the entity paint 
because a paint will have always a single color. The abbreviation for the name of a state, like VA or MD, is a single valued attribute for the entity state because there is only one abbreviation for a state. In all these examples, the attribute has a single value for any entity instance. Let us define more formally what is a multi-valued attribute. A multi-value or multi-valued attribute is an attribute that has two or more values of the same type for some entity instances. The values are often a structured text that lists the values with some separators. The most important characteristic of a multi-valued attribute is that for some entity instances, will have two or more values of the same type. The value is often a structured text pattern containing a list of values with some separators between the values. The name of such attributes is often a plural, e.g. phone numbers, or start with a list, list of phone numbers. So it will clearly mark that there are multiple values. Let us consider a few more examples of multi-valued attributes or MVA. A person may have one phone number, for instance, 703-001-000, or more phone numbers, like 703-001-0001 or 571 Then for the phone numbers, attribute is a multi-valued attribute. In a similar way, a person may have one email address, for instance, John Doe at gmail.com, or several email addresses, for instance, Jane at gmail.com and JD at Doe.com. Therefore, emails is another multi-value attribute. As we discussed in the initial example, a book may have one author, like John Doe, or several authors, like John Doe and Jane Doe. Therefore, authors is also a multi-valued attribute. A course may have one other prerequisite course or two or more. For instance, a course may have uh, both IT-104 and IT-106, while another course may require only IT-214. So, the prerequisite is a multi-value attribute. In all these examples, at least for one entity instance, an attribute may have two or more values. This is the reason that the attributes are multi-valued. Next, we'll discuss when to divide a multi-value attribute. In a relational database, the only way to represent a multi-value attribute is a structured text. However, such a representation will not allow easy access and search based on individual values from a list of values. Generally, if you need to process for an entity instance each value of a multi-value attribute or to use them in operations, you will devise a multi-value attribute using a relationship. We'll learn later how to do such a division. Alternatively, if you always use the multi-value attribute altogether, you do not need to devise the attribute and you may keep it as a text attribute in the model. The same attribute may be divided in one context and not divided in another. For instance, the phone numbers of a person. In a phone book application, in which we may need to search for a person based on the phone number, we'll divide the multi-value attribute phone numbers. 
in a bulk mail application in which we use the phone numbers of a person just to print them on the labels and we never need to process various phone numbers of a person, we do not need to divide the phone numbers attribute. We will keep a text with all the phone numbers in a list. While in rare situations we do not divide the multivalue attribute, the most frequent case is to represent it using relationships. It is easy to confuse composite attributes and multivalue attributes. We will try to clarify the distinction. A composite attribute, CA, has multiple parts in the value or for a given entity instance, while a multivalue attribute has multiple values for the same entity instance. In a composite attribute, the parts are of different types, or at least some of them, while in the multivalue attribute, all the values are of the same type. For instance, the name of a person is a composite attribute containing the parts first name, last name, and middle name. While all of them are names, they have a different semantics, so we'll consider them as different type of values. For a list of phone numbers associated with a person, all the values are phone numbers, so they will be of the same type. Sometimes an attribute is mixed. For instance, if we consider the contact information for a person as a string structured text, it will contain the phone number, so one of the parts will be multivalue. Or if we keep all the addresses associated with a person, we'll have multi-value attributes, in which each value is a composite value. In this presentation, we discuss about single-value attributes that have a single value for all entity instances and multi-value attributes that may have several values for some entity instances. You may continue to watch the next section in the attribute classification topic, required and optional attributes. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. A fun fact, in NoSQL databases, also named non-relational databases, one may represent very easily multi-value attributes, so you don't need to worry about dividing them.